I'm an artist. Um, I work in, the kind of core of my work has been in performance, making theater performances, a lot of it with the, with the group uh, Forced Entertainment, which is based in Sheffield in England, and it's a collective, so there are six of us working together for a very long time. And then around that work in performance, I've also been working in visual art, making different kinds of works, neon signs, exhibitions, videos, um, and also uh, writing, uh, writing fiction, um, and writing critically or theoretically about the, about the work. Or in the future, most adults' dreams will be nightmares. I mean, uh, children will sleep all right, but most adults will find it increasingly hard to go to bed at night uh, or to sleep at all. And children will have to sing them lullabies <laughs> in order to reassure them that everything is all right. We, we, we started with a, with a piece in, in, in Mark's uh, theater, uh, uh, Tomorrow's Parties. Um, and I think it set the tone for the whole uh, year because uh, it was about the future. And it was about um, different versions of, of the, the future. People will deliberately uh, destroy their own hearing or, or amputate their own limbs or, 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 or pay their friends to, uh, to disfigure them unexpectedly you know, <laughs> uh, while they're sleeping. Then we had two, two shows in, in, in my theatre, in, in Kulturgest, two shows about storytelling. We showed first the, the, one of the latest pieces called The Coming Storm, and then one of their uh, classics, I would say, one of their most iconic pieces, which was uh, uh, An On A Thousandth Night. Stop. Once upon a time, there was a woman whose husband died, and after he died, she found under the bed a gun. And in the absence of her husband, missing him and missing his touch, she began to play with the gun. It's more than just a series of shows. It's more than just a series of uh, exhibitions. It's uh, organizations coming together to acknowledge that there's something interesting in an artist's aesthetic, which is a useful part of the conversation between the organizations themselves. The most difficult to superate is a supermarket full of people. The most difficult Renunciar. O mais difícil é lembrarmos de respirar. As I said, I think the presence during the year makes makes him part of the of the artistic landscape. life, the artistic landscape of Lisbon, uh, and the fact that he has been here before and that he will continue to be <coughs> here makes gives that a longer. A resonance and a longer life. Marking presence and absence at the same time is exactly what these neons also do, uh, in the way they are silent um, and very theatrical. There is a spe specific sensitivity for language. We very well understood the double meaning and, and the, the potential of, of, of this Portuguese word, games, and was able to create his work in a completely untranslatable Portuguese. I know we're talking now, but I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I mean, I know we're talking now, but I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I mean, I know we're talking now, but I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I mean, I know we're talking now, but I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I mean, I know we're talking now, but I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. I mean, I know we're talking now. But... It's something that comes from afar. Seems like, almost like voices. One thing that this sound piece just opened up was like uh, in, in the theatre performances the audiences uh, like complete the, the performance yeah. and here the listener also completes the, the piece yeah. Yeah. because you have to make the movement of being there in the space or yeah. there is also this uh, uh, the component of a physical body it's, it's present in the work. A tunnel. A tunnel. Maybe a tunnel. In the performance work, there's also this idea of 
um, the performance not being a, a, a finished thing. It's not a, a, a performance isn't just there to tell you something. A performance is there to open a space and in that space the audience are a participant. They're, as an audience member you're imagining, you're bringing things to life, you're having your own opinion, your own thoughts that come from the performance. And that's something that the work really tries to do, is it tries to open up that sense of um, dialogue and, and exchange and possibility with the audience. Because for me, you know, being told something is boring. Um, being invited into a space to discover something is really interesting. Mm -hmm.